I'm Frawley, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. I started singing around five years old. Um, my mom used to work in the city in construction, and it was the summer going into kindergarten, and basically she needed me to go somewhere during the day. And um, so she signed me up for singing lessons before like rec camp at school. And yeah, so I started there and I fell in love. Um, I started working with Carol Kenny, um, and I've known her since I was five, and I was actually just with her last night working on piano. Yeah, so it's been, it's been since I was five years old, and um, yeah, just I did a lot of musical theater and songwriting. I started around seven years old, and slowly like worked my way through everything, kind of had to find the ins and outs of everything, using a lot of social media as well to get here to Ireland. I grew up um, listening to a lot of Celtic and trad music, so I like to incorporate the acoustic elements from that and um, tie it into my sound and my um, my like my music in general. Um, just kind of like weaving it throughout each song, but not making it like necessarily the focus point. I just I was always um, enamored by the fact that like people were able to do insane things with their voices, and I just. I wanted to do that as well, so I always, um, as I was growing up, I just always tried to mimic what I saw until I could find my own way of doing it and become my like my own artist and my own self. Um, so when I was like nine years old, I was like, oh my god, I gotta hit these high notes, um, and yeah. So I try to incorporate that in my music as well, um, like really going for it and belting, but also like keeping it, like pulling back when necessary and letting it out when. It's right. I'm working my way to an EP that should be coming in 2020. Um, lots of new music, and the sound, um, the sound is just getting a little bit, a little bit more simpler. I want to incorporate more of those acoustic elements that I had talked about, and um, just more storytelling. I'm, I'm trying to open up more and let the listeners and my fans um, or anybody at all just understand who I am, what I'm trying to say, and what I'm going through, let, whether that's like a good day, a bad day, anything, just really showing that through my music. So I try and get into the studio as often as possible when there's like a lot of things going on in my life. Um, and I just, I just draw from everything. Um, I draw from friendships. That seems to be a really big um, topic right now in my, um, my songwriting. And um, yeah, so I, I just draw from that. I draw from everything that I go through, all the positive things and all the negative things. And, um, and I, some, I, I twist it. So like I have songs coming out um, and they all sound like love songs, but to me, they're all about my friends and like the breaking up with friends because it's just as strong as breaking up with someone you're in love with. You're just, you know, it's, it's essentially the same thing and it's, um, it's my process of like letting that go and um, it sounds like a love song, but to me, it's, it's about that. Next year, I would love to be performing more. Um, I know that a lot of my fans ask, um, like they're begging me to come to their state, um, and I would, I would love to do that. I would love to just get out and perform more, and be able to meet as much and as many fans as possible and connect more one-on-one. -on -one. Fun fact is, I'm really good at healing. That's my, that's my guilty pleasure. I have healies. I love to heal. I bring them to the studio. Yeah. And I make my producers get Heelys too. So we, we scoot around in the studio. When I was little, um, I would a Heely, like it was a thing. Like um, they were huge when I was little. And then um, like a um, couple months ago, I made a joke about it to some producers and friends of mine. And I was like, oh my God, we should totally get Heelys. And we got them and we've been obsessed. I have like videos just like scooting around New York City and like, it's fun. Yeah. People definitely look at you like, weird but it's fun and if you're doing it in a group it's like less weird <laughs> if I was doing it by myself it'd be like ah. but yeah hey guys I'm Frawley and thanks so much for watching this interview make sure to subscribe for more